uh, path of travel so that both riders getting on and off know where the village is, are able to come up and patronize um, and take advantage of the great um, you know, restaurants, uh, services we offer, as well as our library and city hall. Um, the project is a temporary project. I know some, some of our survey respondents thought it was a permanent project. This is just temporary. So what you see out there, a lot of it is removable, it's tape, um, and is stuff that we got through a grant. Um, and so what we're looking to do is get feedback from you on what's working, what's not working, what we can do better, what you like, don't like, um, all with aiming towards getting people to and from the gold mine um, as safely as possible. Um, I'll put my contact information in the chat as well as a link to uh, renderings of our more permanent plans. Um, and if you want, please feel free to contact me. I'm happy to give you one-on-one -on -one talks and you know, hear your concerns um, or questions you have about the project. So thank you very much for the time. Sure, any, anybody have any questions at all? Yeah, Stephen, mm -hmm. uh, Ken. Uh, interested in whether or not uh, Glendora is gonna have some sort of rent a bike system that they can maybe get off the train and rent a bike and head up uh, besides walk. Uh, or is that kind of in the plans or are you thinking about that? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, we were about to bring an item to council this month with um, Active SGV and the San Gabriel Valley Council of Governments. Um, unfortunately, the vendor providing the bike share service collapsed, um, I think somewhat due to the COVID and the, you know, oh boy. condition. So uh, that threw a bit of a monkey wrench in there. It would have been a free bike share program for the city for a couple of years. So it would have been a really great opportunity. We're still waiting to hear how that all resolves. Um, you know, I, I like bike share, but there are also a lot of, you know, practical and technical issues with, you know, yeah. making sure your bikes don't get left in the middle of the street or on sidewalks. And sure. what about bird? Oh, bird. Yeah. That's something too we want to talk about is, um, you know, looking at how do we manage those companies? Cause those, they tend to just come in and don't ask for permission. Um, and a lot of cities have been successful with the ordinance that kind of governs how they operate. So that's also something um, we're looking into doing. But those are great questions, absolutely. Great, well, um, if you wanna take this survey here or contact Steve, Stephen, um, and then uh, we're, we're, we're gonna bring St Stephen back to a more in-depth in presentation probably next month. So um, please join us for, for, for that. Uh, okay, moving on here, uh, the gold line, kind of continuing this. If you haven't no noticed, the gold line is undoing construction here all over town. And from here all the way to Laverne and uh, Pomona. Um, they have a great site that uh, construction.goldline.com where you can get all this information and a lot more that you see on your screen. There's a this great map, as you see on the top right there, where you can click on the, the icons and get all these construction note notices for current construction, past construction, future construction, street closings, you know, reroutes, and all that kind of stuff. So um, we'll keep sharing this. But uh, if you want to know maybe where not to drive that day, this is where you'd find out. So. Um, COVID update, just wanted to kind of give you more information. You may already know all of this, you may not. Um, and just where you can get this information. Um, there's a lot of, you know, the county sites, state sites, all, all that kind of fun stuff. You can go there individually or you can go to pridethefoothillstrong.com or the city site and get links to all, all this too. But it just kind of talks about the current um, home uh, uh, health orders. Uh, we're still there. Um, they were extended um, with no real end date as of yet. Um, the map you see on the left kind of shows where the cases are that they update every day. And, uh, and on, on these, these sites, you can get all the um, the current orders, the, the what the businesses have to post, and so on. So um, that's kind of what that that is. This next one, I just wanted to show show, show this just to kind of give you an idea. These this is updated every day, um, and another reason is many times you know I've been approached. You know why do we care? All this kind of stuff. There's only been two cases in Glendora, which there really hasn't been. There's been a lot, lot more, as you see. 
So um, if you're interested in this kind of information, what's going on where you live, you can go to the website or go to Pride of the Foothill Strong, you get the link there and you can stay up to date on really what's going on in our area and our local hospitals and such. So on a positive note, vaccines. <laughs> vaccines are being distributed. Uh, the, the county has several sites here, which I'll, I'll put these links in the chat too, if you want to know where you can get it, when you can get it, who can get it, who can't get it, and so on and so forth. That This stuff is changing every day now. Um, they're kind of pushing different groups up, as you've probably seen in the news and such. So um, this is a place where you can get all that in, in information on um, getting the uh, COVID vaccine. Any questions so far? No? Okay. Money. You know, it's uh, businesses right now seem like a lot have been short of that, but this grant, hopefully those that would qualify have um, applied for it the first round. It was the state grant that the governor give, put out or allotted $550 million for. First round application deadline was last night at 11.59 p.m. Um, but don't worry, if you didn't apply, there will be a round two, probably within the week or so. And also, if you did apply and not chosen this time, you don't have to reapply. Everyone is put into the second round. Those grants are 5,000, 15,000, and 25,000, depending on your gross receipts. Um, your business can make have made a, as little as $1,000 to, to qualify up to 2.5 million. So, and it's for for-profit and non-profit businesses. So, um, all, all that information can be found at that uh, website there or in the many emails we've put out on it. <laughs> So, and then also PPP part two is now out. I just got a email from um, uh, uh, America's Christian Credit Union, their portal just opened, SBA portals open. So whoever you work with, if you're interested in this, the part two, um, check with your uh, lender or your bank. Um, this is for first time you know, people or businesses and for businesses that have received the PPP previously. Um, if you've received it previously, you have to have, have 300 or fewer employees have used all of those proceeds and can show a 25% gross revenue decline in any quarter of 2019 and 2020. So it could be first quarter 2019, 2020, second, third, fourth. Um, you know, you can have three quarters that have a gain, but one lost, and you showed the one that has the loss. So um, 501c6s can finally qualify for it. That's chambers. So that, and then it also allows first time borrowers, bigger companies and such as um, stated there. Also I put on the bottom there, uh, restaurants, they give, they're given an extra uh, kind of a, I call it a bonus, but it's not a bonus. Instead of two and a half times, it's three and a half times uh, payroll. And then they also changed through the last uh, CARES Act, um, the uh, deductibility of expenses with proceeds here. But with that, that kind of stuff, um, ask your tax preparer. Any questions about that? No? Okay. Well, Without further ado, we're gonna get into our speaker and I'm gonna change PowerPoints here. Uh, uh, Mr. Ken Salzman of Sandsman Productions is gonna talk about Burger Mysteries. Mr. Da -da. Ken. Don't want anybody to get scared. Here we go. There we go. First, I'd like to welcome everybody and thank those that were able to participate uh, in this uh, virtual luncheon uh, that we're doing. Uh, it's really, um, well, all I can say is when we were, when we did do a murder mystery in October, we did a few in December, but last October, I was really surprised at the amount of people that wanted 
or want to thank me for bringing my group out and doing a murder mystery. It just gave them something to do and to be entertained. Uh, unfortunately, things have gotten a little crazy between now and, and December into January. And so we're not sure exactly what's going to happen. But I will be clear as to say to you that as far as I'm concerned, this is probably the last year that we'll be doing the murder mysteries. Um, Don over at the Village Eatery mentioned that he would like to bring in another group. And we do have somebody that was maybe interested in taking this over. But at this point, just with the way things are going, uh, and we had planned this even last year uh, in March, before, you know, before March, this was the last year that I was going to do it, partly because I, I'm just getting too old. I enjoy it. I enjoy uh, dealing with it, but uh, it's kind of a uh, it's a frustrating situation, and I'm hoping that um, it'll be a more positive thing by the time we get towards the end of the year. But um, uh, Joe, if we go on to the next slide. This gives some information as to uh, getting a hold of me and also my numbers on the chamber site. And you can just touch base with Village Eatery um, or Spaghetti Eddie's and see what's coming up and uh, take a look there. But any real questions that you might have, please touch base with me and I'd be happy to do what I can to uh, make things happen for you. Uh, go ahead, Joe. Looking at Murder, what's on your menu? Spaghetti Eddie's, Village Eatery. Unfortunately, the Walker House in San Dimas is kind of shut down at this point. Uh, Luca Bella's uh, even having some problems in staying open in uh, Glendora. Uh, so I encourage you to do curbside with them or whatever you can do. Uh, but at this point, we probably are not doing anything with the, with the Walker House in San Dimas. Uh, but that may change in the next couple of months or so. Things may change a little bit. Right now, we are doing Spaghetti Eddie's and, Vill and Village Eatery. Uh, that's, what, that's what we're looking forward to. Uh, next. Uh, the 2021, we do have the murder mystery season uh, with six new murder mysteries uh, for your entertainment. And so I think you'll enjoy uh, this year if you're able to get out to even see one or two of them. Uh, I have people that we kind of have fans that follow us and then try to make it to every single one. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, we're looking forward to that. Uh, but go ahead, Joe. We're looking at February's murder mystery called A Box of Murder, a Valentine's Day of Death. I know it's not a lot of fun to look at death and Valentine's Day, but we make it as entertaining as possible. And I think that you'll enjoy it. A couple of things which we are not sure will happen or not. So we put it at potential reservations. Uh, Village EDB is the February 14th. They're actually doing something for Valentine's Day. Again, we're gonna, we'll see what happens by the uh, beginning of February. Chances are we'll have to cancel and, and we won't be able to do February's murder mystery. But Spaghetti Eddie's is, a, is our one matinee, so uh, two o'clock, and uh, we're doing it on the 21st. But again, it depends on how things are moving on February. But whatever, you're going to enjoy it, uh, I think. And if not, then we'll move on to the April murder mystery, which is uh, Joe, go ahead. Murder one by one. Who's next? You? A series of people get invited to a place, obviously. And uh, as, they, uh, as the time moves on, they find death following them. And so that should be an interesting uh, uh, murder mystery. And I think that if you enjoy that kind of thing, uh, you'll really have a good time on that. Uh, next. Uh, uh, murder, The Final Frontier. We've tried to put this on in other years. We've decided to try it again this year. 
boldly murdering where no one has murdered before. But we're looking at it, uh, it's basically a Comic Con kind of situation in which people from a famous TV program called Star Truck. Anybody get that? Good, good, I hope. Uh, is gathering all the uh, uh, actors together and slowly uh, we have some deaths occur during that. But it's uh, it's kind of fun and we've got a lot of, uh, well, what we call um, uh, people that are maybe not exactly from Earth. So it could be, it, could, it should be a fun and entertaining uh, opportunity to see that in June. Next. August incident at the San Diego de Saloon, a dramatic event. We have a group of actors that think that they can go down to a cow town and make it uh, make uh, the theater happen, and they want to bring Othello down. Now, well, while they're in the process of dealing with that, of course, they have a number of gunslingers there, gunfights, et cetera, and people that aren't exactly enthralled with what they call theatrical uh, presentation. Uh, they are expecting it to be uh, a little more um, uh, girly, fighting, comic kind of situation. And of course, Othello is not that way at all. But it, it's kind of, it's funny the way it, it works out and comes through. So I think you'd enjoy that. And it's taking place back in the time of the 1800s and where Westerns are uh, pretty much uh, pretty famous uh, status there, but I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, next, October, the haunted, ha uh, excuse me, the haunted <laughs> house murders, uh, ghostly distractions takes place uh, in a haunted house. And I think perfect for October, you should enjoy that and without being scared too badly. And finally, December, the case of the mystery of the murder mystery and the Christmas cravat. Um, no matter what, it takes place. It's kind of a, a play within a play. And uh, you have a bunch of actors that no matter who dies, the show goes on. And it really becomes very, uh, very uh, humorous and uh, very comedic. Uh, and I think you'll en enjoy this in particular. And hopefully by December, we won't be having any problems. We'll either be outdoors or indoors, but the vaccine should be pretty well distributed and we should feel a little safer about coming out. But that's all, you know, I'm kind of at the mercy of the restaurants at the same time. And uh, so please check with me, check with the entertainment, uh, with a uh, village eatery, murder, uh, murder mysteries, the uh, Spaghetti Eddies and get the dates that are coming up. But you're looking at every other month. Again, uh, February, April, June, August, October, and December. Next. So as I said here, I wish you to have a great 2021. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, check in with your favorite venue and make your reservations at the Village Eatery. Uh, the Walker House was in there. I, again, I will let you know when that's coming along, if it is, or Spaghetti Eddie's. Again, six shows, one every other month. And so hopefully you'll enjoy, uh, you'll enjoy yourself uh, once we can get back into the system the, the way we need to. Any questions for me at this point? All right, I feel like I've murdered you all or something. I, sorry about that. Anybody have any questions? I have a question, Ken. Go ahead. Um, I've been wanting to go to these in the past. Um, like right now, are they done indoors inside the restaurant or like in these months, are, you, are they going to be outdoors? So it's more like a, a, an outdoor kind of festival type of thing. I mean, what, it'll be, what, what can I expect? It'll be more of an outdoor thing. I don't know when we'll get indoors. Uh, and, or if we will, but it'll be an out right now. It'll be an outdoor thing. So, for example, spaghetti Eddie, where, where exactly do they hold it outside? They've got that big tent area that they've got out okay. there. They're, they've got an actually tented area, and uh, right now it's not being used, obviously. Uh, but if we do 
or can do it, you'll be outdoors there, right? Kind of in front of there, right in front of Spaghetti Eddie's. Okay. Thank you. Sure. And at the Walker House, is that going to be inside or outside? Um, unfortunately, the Walker House is really, people go there because of the being inside and seeing the house, the 1800s house. Um, and so because of that, and because of the, it's also combined with the city and they're demanding that certain things uh, are taken care of before you can even look at doing outside in the patio. So more than likely, we won't do anything there until we can get inside. And then we'll let you know. I don't have a question, but I just wanted to um, tell Ken that Tom and I haven't attended one of your productions yet. And so we definitely will this year. And I just wanna wish you well, because you've been the face of this for a long time. And it sounds like you're gonna be retiring, which is great for you. But mm -hmm. I highly recommend anybody who hasn't seen one of his productions to, you know, start, you know, to go this year <laughs> to see Ken. At least once if you can. It's, yeah. uh, it's a fun I'm thing. I'm hoping that they're going to allow you to um, do this. Thanks, Debbie. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Anybody else? Ken. Hi, Ken. This is Sue Hay. Um, yeah. I haven't seen you in a little while, but hey, right. I was just wondering, what about a private event? Could we talk about that privately if you want? Maybe um, something, I mean, small, obviously very intimate, but um, my daughter's really into mystery and I'd love to have something like this for like a small birthday, you know, celebration for her. Um, it would be a big venue that I'm thinking of uh, where the tables would be separate enough, but I don't know if that's a possibility. It is, uh, depending on what's going on. Uh, I, I just, we, obviously I need to get more information on it and take it from there. All okay. of my actors, by the way, have masks that they wear. It's kind of a clear mask. Uh, so you can see the face mainly and uh, it works out very nicely. But we try and be as safe as we can while we're performing. So okay. definitely that's a good talk, a, a good thing to talk about. Anything else? Questions? No. All right. Well, what I, you know, uh, does everybody have my email address? If you don't, ch uh, check the chamber list. I should be listed there. Um, it's skenchris at yahoo.com. I'll, I'll put it on for you. That good. And I probably should put it in the chat. Uh, they, um, the reason I'm asking is that I've chosen a number as I got written down here. And I need those of you who would like to, to contact me uh, at my email address and give me your number, give me a number from uh, one to, um, what do we have here, about 14 people? No, got about 20, 16. 20. 20, about 20 people? Let's say one to 20. Uh, just give me a number one to 20. And then if the one that comes, the one or two or three that come up with that number, I will uh, contact you and uh, give you a, a, an opportunity to come to a murder mystery, um, uh, a couple of comp tickets that'll be a benefit if you'd like to attend uh, as soon as we can. Yeah, but okay, now knowing that you're going to be retiring, that's going to be an inspiration for all of us to want to go before you go. <laughs> right, it may continue also, but I won't necessarily be as involved in it. We're thinking about possibly moving out of state. We may stay in the state. Who knows what's going to happen as far as that goes. But uh, definitely, this is a good time to catch it before before I'm completely gone. And I would, um, uh, and like I said, I will let everybody know what's gonna happen if it's gonna continue on or uh, whatever the, uh, you'll have opportunities you'll have the following year if you'd like, mm -hmm. but thank you. Well, you've been the face for a long time, so I'm sure uh, you're gonna be very uh, greatly missed. I thank you very much, bless you. you Anything else? Sorry. Oh, okay. 
Well, thank you very much, Ken, for all 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 that. And you know, I've I've been to a, a few of yours, and it, they are great. So I mean, I hope I hope you're able to get some in this this year. You know, really hope hope you can. So no problem. And, um, so and and when those happen, we will definitely promote them for you too. So kind of. Um, Look out for those, and and you 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 send a uh, an email news newsletter. Uh, people can sign up for that too, correct? Good, uh, good point. Thank you. Yes, you can, which will give you an idea when thing next thing is coming up in the list of the shows happening. So uh, please, if you aren't on the newsletter, uh, let me know about that. Great. Okay. Well, why don't we at this this point kind of oh, someone else just just arrived. Um, kind of go around and everybody kind of uh, give your elevator speech, your, your commercial, your, what you're looking for, or maybe who you want to connect with or uh, anything like that. Okay. Um, we're all professionals at that. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's see how we do. <laughs> no. um, I'm just going to kind of go around the screen here. So I'm going to start with Yolanda. Oh, I get to start it off. Well, happy Thursday, everyone. My name is Yolanda Quintana, and I am a human resources consultant. I have been uh, in business for a little over 10 years, and I have uh, over 25 years experience. I work with small business owners. I uh, don't uh, get too involved. I do set up your HR practice, and if you'd like to continue and have me as a consultant, as an ongoing basis, we can uh, discuss that and set that up. But typically I'll come in, set you up, get your handbook, get your all your policies and procedures, and as far as deep as you want me to be. And uh, if you have a large enough company where you have an HR department, I would be a support to them. Maybe you have uh, employee issues, uh, you need an employee relations, you want somebody to come in and investigate something. So I would do something like that. So. That's me. Uh, my tagline is, I put the human in your resources. Right. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Lisa Alvarez. Good morning. My name is Lisa Alvarez. I'm a business development consultant at Foothill Credit Union. We're a closed credit union geared towards servicing our schools and hospitals. Right now, what we're working on is pushing out our college-bound scholarship geared towards um, students looking to pursue their college education, um, whether it be your freshman or sophomore year. So if you know anybody who would love to take advantage of this opportunity, I would love to give them the information. Great, thank you very much. Uh, Ross, Ross Lopez. Uh, my name is Ross Lopez. I'm uh, with RL Insurance and Financial Services. We help employers with their employee benefits package and their 401k plan. Uh, we're currently working with the Glendora Chamber on establishing a multiple employer plan, which is a 401k plan where all companies uh, that are members of the chamber join together to be able to establish a group plan. And by doing so, you can get services typically offered through corporate uh, S&P 500 Inc. type of benefits where you have an outside trustee for the administration or the investments. Now you could have it at any level. You get group pricing and the administration is, is seamless. It integrates with your payroll. So you're not really doing much. Your responsibility gets reduced. Your liability gets reduced and employees get uh, top-notch services from the 401k providers. So uh, you can talk a little bit to Joe about it. You can email me directly. My contact information is on the chat. So if you want to talk a little bit more about that, uh, we can uh, discuss that. Uh, there's already a couple of companies that are interested in signing up, but we do need a couple of more to be able to put this in place. So I encourage you that if you have any questions, if you want to see if this might benefit your company, you reach out to me. Uh, we can do an analysis and figure out whether there's some potential savings and increase in benefits and services. Great. Thank you very much, Ross. Uh, Carrie. Mute. 
coffee. Sorry about that. Um, Carrie Jansen here with Visiting Angels in Home Care for Seniors. We care for seniors in their home. Um, keep them safe during this COVID time. And uh, we happen to be looking for employees. So if any of you know of someone that needs work full-time, part-time, or flexible hours, we have many positions open for caregivers. Thanks. Gary, I also see your advertisements on TV. Yes. It's an age very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Nita. And they're not able to be before because I know you should Hi, I'm Nita Loa Padroni. I represent, uh, I'm representing two things today. One is the Glendora Police Department. Obviously, I'm working from home at the moment. This is not the police department. <laughs> um, just wanna remind people that one of the biggest thefts that is taking place right now all along the foothills is the theft of catalytic converters. I'm sure you know friends or neighbors who've lost catalytic converters. There is platinum and other precious metals inside of this um, device that can be taken off really quickly with a sawzall and a matter of moments. So pay attention when you're home, if uh, your dogs are barking, if your motion lights go on, pay attention to people cruising around the neighborhood that you don't recognize. And then when you're parking, because it's even happened um, at um, auto places where you get your car fixed, I don't, auto repair shops. So you leave your car there overnight and then people go in and and take them from there. And they're about four or $5,000 to replace. So just be real cognizant that that's taking place. And the type of vehicle doesn't seem to matter. Um, at first it was like, well, it's easier to get under a, a tall car if you've got a taller car, but it's actually any car that they're doing. So just keep your eye out for yourself and your neighbors. And like I said, it's not just in Glendora, it's been happening all over Southern California actually, for sure. I'm gonna put on my other hat. I'm an Azusa Glendora Seroptimist and we're doing a, uh, a pajama drive for brand new pajamas for women and girls and children for the YWCA wings. So if you have brand new pajamas to donate, we do this every year and we've extended our collection to February 15th. You can drop off your brand new pajamas at, um, I don't know if everybody knows Rose Wentz, everybody should, but her state farm office is on Foothill and Vermont. Everybody should know Rose Wentz, right? Right, Joe? Oh yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. um, if you don't, anyway, you can just knock on her door because her door is locked, but between the hours of nine to four, just drop off pajamas and then we do a presentation to YWCA Wings and the kids actually have a pajama party. So we are servicing women who um, leave with just the clothes on their backs. So thank you very much for participating. Thank you for that. Um, Nick, Nick Brown. Hello everyone. My name is Nick Brown. I'm with Millennium Pension Services. We are retirement benefit consultants and third party administrators. The firm was started by my beautiful mom and kind of good looking dad in 2007. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, what we do is we establish qualified retirement plans for our clients and their employees to help them save on their retirement. Right now we are just gathering information from our client to do the uh, calculations to see how much they can contribute to their plan. And to reflect on what Ross Lopez said about the Glendora multiple employer plan, we are also part of the team. So if you have any questions, feel free to throw me an email as well. Joe, thank you for having me. And it's great to see everybody. Thank you very much. Next up, we have Debbie. Go ahead, Emily. There. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Debbie Dillon. I'm actually an ambassador for the Glendora Chamber. And I also co-own um, Millennium Night with my, with my husband, Tom Dillon, who wasn't able to be here today. Um, but we are an information technology company. So we partner with businesses to help maintain their computers or servers or firewalls or backups, anything really that's technology related and keeps your business up and running. Great, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, Lisa from the fabulous Casa Kalina. Can you hear me? Yep. Hi, Joe. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Lisa McKay, and I'm with Casa Kalina Hospital and Centers for Healthcare. Um, specifically, my office located, this is our entrance to our Pomona campus, by the way. Um, but more relevant to um, the Glendora area is our uh, Azusa outpatient. 
Center. Um, my office here is located in the foundation um, where we do fundraising and support for our free care program um, that serves patients uh, across the board in all of our many, many programs. For those of you not familiar with Casa Clina, um, rehabilitation that takes place here um, is life-changing um, and we've always uh, specialized in many, many disorders, um, specifically catastrophic injury, traumatic brain injury, spinal cord injury, autism in children, and so much more. Um, with an inpatient rehab hospital, a medical surgical wing, and um, our outpatient services. In Azusa, our clinic is for outpatient services for physical and occupational therapy. Um, on behalf of our foundation and our hospital, we want to wish everyone uh, well and good health. We've all been so affected um, by COVID, obviously, and um, I've experienced it personally, um, and it is, um, it's real, right? <laughs> uh, so what we have found here is that the follow-up to uh, many severe COVID cases um, that have become close to life-threatening is that there is actually rehabilitation on the other side of that that's required. So as we are not a COVID um, campus or facility to treat um, the illness, um, we have had some wonderful success cases with people coming after um, the illness. So um, I look forward to really re-engaging with the Glendora um, community and the surrounding communities. And please remember that we're always here. And if you have a loved one, a friend, a family member, anybody, yourself, um, make me your contact, please. I'll share my information and I can connect you to anyone across um, so many of our different disciplines and services. Thanks for having me. Great, thank you, Lisa. Um, John. Howdy guys, John Bogdanov with Telworks. And um, other than Millennium Night and sorry, Jay, to steal your thunder a little bit here, but um, DLL, None of you guys are in business or, or started your businesses to spend a whole bunch of time sourcing and implementing technology. And that is why Teleworks is in business. We are here to um, work with you and really become the single source for all of your business technology and telecommunications needs and really um, specializing and focusing right now on helping your business save time and money, um, sourcing, implementing, and updating all of your cloud technologies. So if you guys are like so many other businesses and business owners that I know that have more time or more uh, activities to do in the day, then it seems like you have time to do it and you want to uh, take some of the technology stuff off your plate, um, I would be happy to help you out. Thanks. Uh, my information is in the chat. Thank you very much, John. Uh, Suhei. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Suhei Piedra with Prominence Business here in the city of Glendora. I'm a tax, um, an enrolled agent, tax consultant that is federally licensed to work with individuals uh, across the United States. Um, my role is to uh, be a little bit different than um, the typical tax preparer. I really do uh, more tax planning. My main focus is to make sure that we beat Uncle Sam at this game and that we earn, we keep more of our hard earned money. So uh, our job is to really look at your finances, ask questions, how can we beat Uncle Sam at his game? And so if you're looking for someone different, uh, small businesses uh, usually, uh, you know, need assistance with all that PPP stuff, all the, you know, loans and all that good stuff. How is that impacting your tax? Um, all your investments, you know, taking money out of your 401ks, all that good stuff. Um, you know, we are well versed in all of that. So please give us a call. I'll put our information, our contact info in the chat. Don't dread doing your taxes. Reach out to a professional that can be by your side fighting on, you know, in your corner. So reach out. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Next up, we have Mary. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Mary uh, from Agape Physical Therapy. And uh, me and my husband, Nader, we've uh, owned Agape for the, we've been in Glendora for about 18 years now. Um, we specialize in chronic pain uh, and acute orthopedic injuries. And so um, what we feel strongly about is that we provide care 
that is very personalized and it is um, basically you get treated in our clinic the way we would treat our family. We feel like everybody deserves one-on-one -on -one time, deserves to be listened to and to spend time despite what the uh, insurance sometimes uh, uh, tells us about what they're allowing and what they're not allowing as far as how much payment and how much cuts and all of that, regardless of that, somebody deserves to be have a consultation. So we offer free consultations to anyone, this is regardless of what kind of insurance they have and be able to give a little bit of some assistance during that. And then um, we like to get rid of people's pain. That's what we do best and uh, we love doing it. So uh, thank you for having me. Great, thank you very much. Christina Keener Ivy. Hi guys, I um, am the executive director of Top Billing Entertainment Performance Academy. We're in the Glendora Village. Um, I actually had COVID in December and I have the lingering cough. So if I start coughing, please excuse me. Um, but it was mild for my husband and I, so we're doing pretty good. Um, this is the most adults I've seen in like a year. So I'm so excited. <laughs> We are a school, so we've been um, doing Zoom classes and online classes, and we became a movie studio. So this is our Aladdin backdrop, and we set up to make Aladdin Jr., which we were doing as a stage show, into a movie. Um, so now we're, we're a movie studio. Yay. <laughs> but we do singing, acting, dancing, on camera acting for kids of all ages. And we're celebrating 11 years this month in the village of Glendora. Hey, we're still here. <laughs> I thought for sure 2020 was gonna be the end, but we're still going. Um, but we, are, we invested a lot in our technology. Um, my husband is a USC graduate um, from USC Film, so he's been helping us with that. He also does video production. He does all our commercials. So if you need any videos, I got you, um, or music, um, yeah. Top billing where every performer, wait, let me get the logo, gets top billing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Christina. Um, Jay, DLL. Hi everyone, I'm Jay with DLL. John, no harm, no foul. There's enough tech requests these days to go around for everybody. <laughs> um, in fact, so much so that we are, are ramping up our services. Uh, we're currently in the process of creating bungle packages with um, more robust uh, security. Um, Ken, sorry to see you go. Does that mean we're not going to see you in the chamber anymore? Uh, with all up in the air. <laughs> OK. Well, yeah, I know how it goes with uh, the restaurant industry, especially if you're dependent upon them. It's a good segue, though, for DLL because we do provide web development. And one of the sites that we did do is Village Eatery, and we also have done uh, Luca Bella as well. If you guys ever want to check that out, just to see some of the work that we do, small businesses to larger businesses when it comes to web development, SEO, we can handle that and take care of you if you need it. Anyways, Jay from DLL, thank you. Thank you very much. Jose, Jose Flores. Hi everyone, um, I'm worth spot on. And basically uh, kind of piggyback, uh, I'm gonna piggyback off Jay. Uh, we also offer solutions for businesses, uh, more on the software side, uh, hardware for uh, your POS systems, uh, credit card processing. And the best way to really tell you the story of spot on is to tell you one of my clients. So um, I have a client in Irwindale, Opolki and Greens, uh, who basically, if you're familiar with Irwindale, uh, their activity is from nine to four or five. And after that, there's no one there. There's no one during the weekend. So for her, her business is struggling, especially with COVID because people weren't coming. Um, to get there is difficult. So when I went in there, I said, you know, uh, Lynette, you, you need an online ordering solution. You need the ability for people to order on, online, have their food ready. They just come in and pick up because they already paid. Uh, we just implemented her a few weeks ago. And I'm trying to see, you know, that, that, that movement, that volume increase for her. And, and I had a conversation with her and she's pleased. And she's like, you know what? I'm going to refer you to another pokey place that we have out in Rancho Cucamonga. So to me, the, the, the ability to go in 
can assess the situation, provide some consulting, and then provide any solutions we have. So, uh, you know, we offer from appointments to websites to, uh, uh, my God, I, I'm just overwhelmed by so many things. So regardless of what the issue is or what the question is, we have the ability to fulfill that need. And, uh, and Jay, I will reach out to you because I, we do need someone to go in and help set up these places once we uh, lock in a client. So uh, I, I love this chamber because I'm, I'm always listening to who can help me help a customer. So uh, thank you and stay safe out there and we'll, we'll have better days. We'll, we'll, we'll be at that uh, uh, show pretty soon with uh, Ken. <laughs> I'll put our link in chat. Thank you. Thank you very much. And finally, we have Ashley Rosati with the best trash company in the San Gabriel Valley and farther. <laughs> Thank you so much, Joe. <laughs> um, first and foremost, everyone, um, I am your favorite little trash talker, Ashley Rosati. I work for Athens Services. We are a waste and recycling company, and we service the city of Glendor proudly. Um, I am also privileged to be on the executive board for the Chamber of Commerce, and I just wanted to say thank you to all of you that showed up today um, because the Chamber is only as strong as its members. So good job for showing up today. It really means a lot. And I hope to continue to see you guys virtually. And then obviously once we can meet in person, um, we here at Athens, um, you know, whether you have a service with us residential or commercially, I would love to chat with you with any of your concerns or needs. Um, I also just want to give a shout out to all of our team who have just been doing a great job. Um, first frontline workers, they have just been amazing. Um, we've been able to successfully continue services un uninterrupted while some of our other haulers um, in nearby cities have gone to every other week, which if you're at home and have a big family, your trash could start to add up. So I'm just really proud of our team for being able to um, be consistent and, and not have any interruption to our customers. Um, so thank you so much. And again, thank you for showing up today. Thank you very much, Ashley. Okay, well, we went around the room here or around the screen. It's like the Brady Bunch, but bigger family. Um, um, <laughs> um, before we, we end, I don't know, is anybody, any thoughts come up while we're going, going around? Anybody want to share anything else or any questions about what I've, what I've uh, presented or no? Joe? Yes, sir. I have a question for Anita. Sure, go right ahead. So, Hi. Is there a, uh, a year, I'm not that familiar with cars, so I don't do, I always send them to somebody else to fix, but is there like, a, is it like anything for above uh, to, uh, 2020 uh, car wise for those catalytic converters or does it go to any car that has that and I'm not aware of it? As far as looking, I mean, do I, I have a 2007, I think it is, do I have to worry about that or that somebody might come in? in? Uh, yeah, everybody needs to be safe with everything and including their uh, motorhomes. Motorhomes are getting hit a lot. Uh, okay. Yes, everybody, um, anybody who has, even the, the, the Priuses that have both, um, I'm, I don't know what they're called. What do they call, Joe, when they have? It's a hybrid. Yes, so the hybrids are even getting hit, just yeah. to let you know. So it's pretty gotcha. much any, everything, but also can um, motorhomes have been really gotcha. hit. Yeah, I believe, Hi, thank uh, you. I believe catalytic converters started put on in the late 80s. Ah. So every car has them now. Gotcha. You know, there's different types. But I know... Um, the Prius has been popular ones of steel. I guess they're real, real easy to get off those. But um, okay, any other questions or anything? No? Okay. Well, thank you again, everybody, for, for coming today and spending time with us. 
I promise sometime soon we'll be able to be in one room. It's just, I don't have control over that. I don't have that much power. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, but again, as everybody has said, people have said over and over, you know, be safe out, 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 out there. We will get past this. The chamber is here for you, our staff, our board of directors, ambassadors. If you need anything, have questions about something, need connections to business services. I mean, we, we have it all here. So um, please let us know. Um, and we have our multiple websites where your information is. Make sure you, you check out your directory page is that it's up to date because it is on multiple websites. And uh, if you can't get into that, please let me know. Um, also for the um, looking to do that multiple em em employer plan, if your company does that or wants to do a 401k or you know, has one or wants to do one, please contact Ross. Uh, it's gonna, it, when we're able to launch that, it is gonna save our businesses a ton of money because soon every business is gonna have to offer something um, soon. So check, check out, you know, please contact Ross. Uh, if you don't have his contact, it's on the chat or you can contact me, but Ross is the man for that. So um, with that, I thank you again. Thanks for being here and uh, have a great rest of your day. Thanks, Joe. And thanks, Ken, Good for on. presenting today. No problem. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Take care. See ya.